John John Florence in a great position to make a run at the Jeep Leaders jersey here at stop number seven. He's up against Davy Cathals and one of the wild cards, Hira Terranatufa, a former two-time ISA amateur world champion. Easy decision for uh, Heat of the Year. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, here we go. It looks like Hita found himself a little one running. Yeah, and Hita's going to pull through the back there. Dewey Kennedy on the Gold Coast where, uh, you know, he took the first wave and we'll get back to that. Well, here goes Hira. And he has done some damage in this contest before. Just a silky calf to get started on this ride. Not so concerned about the barrel on that one. He kicks out. Um, spends every day there and um, absolutely tears and small stuff. And uh, you can see right here how comfortable he with, is he with this forehand snap. Beautiful carve there, as you said. Very silky straight into that little climb. And another cut back there. So uh, the bummer is for Hida, the scores are going to be really mild today with moves. So. Yeah, it's, it's one of those locations where, you know, just like in golf, you can consider it a major. Well, here goes John, letting go of that rail, pumping into the tube. He's still going. And just a hands-free run through what was a gaping pit. Uh, and John, always casual, right in the middle of it. Right here, let's go the rail, gets that pump that we were talking about earlier this morning. So John picking up on the fact that he was behind it, Ronnie, very deep. So he adjusted by getting a pump in, and that's difficult to do on your backhand. Easy to do on your forehand, uh, but on your heel side to get those weaves and those pumps to generate speed when you need to. Very talented effort from John. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the wave of the day. John, for a big lanky guy. He's found the one wave, and now look at him. He's gonna be paddling into this one. A beautiful wave off the bottom, pump, no hand, standing tall. Spits him out clean. I mean, just absolutely. Beautiful surfing, big sweeping cut back into the bowl. There you have it, John John Florence, ready to go. Basically, you know, he's just going to be moving around in there, hoping he doesn't tag the reef. And here's John, look at that, so casual again. No hands, and it's much more difficult to get barreled on a, a shack that square with no, without grabbing your rail. You know, it's much easier and safer to kind of hold on to that rail and make sure you come out, but John making it look easy. Here goes Davy Cathals from North Narrabeen, Australia. Trying to get himself up into the top 22 in 23rd position on the ratings at the moment. And so to get to your point uh, about the luck factor for John, as we see Davy Cathals, look at the waves right now turning on. This is uh, refreshing. You know, we saw the boys really stalled out this morning with some inconsistent waves, but now it's starting to really pour in. Let's have a look at the highest scoring ride of the contest so far, a 9.4. You can see John right there. He kind of took his time a little bit. He even faded slightly. Uh, and as soon as he could uh, see that, okay, here's my line. I'm going to be really deep in this barrel. Then he uh, gave himself a subtle bottom turn and uh, basically just kept his rail uh, drawing through the barrel. So there's a slight fade. Just taking his time for a second, and then he pumps right in and stands tall. That's the beauty of Chopu. Once you pick your line, you're pretty much your work is over. Uh, there's some barrels around the world and some waves where you have to really work and kind of weave and bob. Uh, but on, at Chopa, especially on those ones that come out of the West Bowl. Well, a couple of nuggets rolling our way at the moment. Davy Cathals, he gets a beautiful looking wall, grabs that rail, and the wave just spews him out into the channel. Just over nine minutes remaining. And some movement once again from John Florence, right under the ledge, dragging that body in the wall of the wave just some great exchanges unfolding as John throws down well, a snowboard like track he has priority out the back now let's look at the exchange on the replay you can see a pretty good little pump there before Davy Kaplis grabbed his rail again that's kind of for stability just to make to make sure that he bounces through the foam ball if in fact it does touch him you can see he just stayed ahead of it. So um, uh, that will keep the score in check. It's not going to be a massive score like John's had. Really crazy late drop there for John. You can see he kind of fell from the ceiling, grabbed his rail for safety. You know, uh, he didn't really have the luxury of letting go that time because he had such a hefty late drop. Um, and it was also a bit of a block. You know, he uh, was there with second priority. He had a, a, maybe a better line, just being a little deeper than John. Uh, but John taking care of business, just saying, no, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and take this wave and kind of block you. Just looks so sure of himself out there at the moment, John Florence. Just making some comparisons. Davy Cathals has picked off some pretty nice barrels, but just a, some subtle things. 
a difference between him here and John, who's obviously one of the best barrel riders on earth. Oh, here are having a look at this one. Just looking to feel out his equipment for a possible round two heat as he makes his way in. Such a tough draw in the first round, but also just the the honour and keeping in mind that a wild card has won this contest before. Yeah, it's a, it's a big deal. Uh, you know, you can't help but to soak in the Olympic vibe right now. And so for someone like Hida, he'll be carrying that Tahitian flag proudly and he'll be a threat round two. Well, the current world number three and world number two now already through to round three.